four signs God will restore a relationship or marriage back. Number 1. He has not brought anyone your way yet. One of the signs that a broken relationship or marriage has not met its end and God would still restore it is that He would not bring another person for you. At times, we make mistakes in choosing who we want to marry and settle down with, but along the line or even after getting married, we get strong convictions and it is like we have hit the end road and we must go separate ways. As you leave, you quickly connect with another person and start building up to something. But when we had it right from the beginning and have been having a smooth relationship only for issues to arise and it feels like we cannot continue again. A sign that God is still in the boat with the both of you and still wants to fix the relationship is that He would not bring anyone your way. Nobody would tend to please or appeal to you. The passion and the enthusiasm to move on or start something new with another person. It does not feel like freedom been out of the relationship with that person. It is like your other half is somewhere and you cannot see yourself starting a new relationship. This is because God is not through with the both of you and you have only received a little space to heal and correct what causes the problem and He would then reunite the both of you again. Your relationship or marriage has not reached its end. There is still hope for it and the God you hold on to is not letting the both of you go separate ways and He is waiting for the time to restore and join the both of you back to each other. The sign that He is done with the relationship is that He allows someone into your life. But in this case, He has not because He is still interested in the relationship and would restore the both of you together again. Do not force anything to happen with another person since it is not coming naturally. Do not lose your hold of God. He is still with you and has you at heart and is working towards restoring you with your partner and lover. The plans he has for the both of you are great and cannot be cut short. So wait and make amend where necessary so that the both of you come to terms again. Wait, he's going to restore you back. Number 2. The message of reconciliation and restoration keeps coming your way. Nothing comes by accident. God can use any means or medium to communicate to you. There are words for every season and while you are nursing and trying to heal and move on with your life or into another relationship and the message of reconciliation and restoration keeps coming your way, God is giving you a sign of what He wants to do and He would want you to remain aligned and pray more. It is not by accident that as you pray, study, or search the scripture, the word and message of reconciliation, restoration, forgiveness, and other related terms keeps popping up. God is giving you a heads up of what He intends to do and by virtue of your yieldedness, you are seeing them early. In our normal relationship with Him, we err. We sometimes disobey and do things that do not please Him, but He does not abandon or cast us away. He is still near and waiting for us to come back to Him. This is the same thing He is working between you and your partner. The relationship was by Him and for His glory. He knows what the both of you would achieve together and as such, the problem and challenge at hand would not last. He is working to restore the both of you together. You must not make the mistake of closing your heart to the word that is coming. He found the both of you worthy to run with the vision and He is sending the message of reconciliation and restoration to you. You must not make that mistake of forcing or trying to move on with another person when He brings the message of hope and restoration. Take time to seek His face. Ask for mercy and receive wisdom and direction from Him on how to go about trying to reconnect and build back what the devil has destroyed. In your subconscious, the devil sowed misunderstanding and discord between the both of you and that is the reason the relationship came to an end. But God is still interested in the both of you 
and would restore the relationship back to how it ought to be and would make it even better. Believe him, he would do it. The both of you will find grounds to reconcile and get back again. It would happen easily because that is what he wants to do and have given the message and you have aligned yourself and have prayed and acted in that direction. The relationship or marriage will be restored for the better this time. Number 3. The more you try avoiding your partner, the more God brings you both together. Another sign that God is still interested in your relationship and wants to restore your relationship or marriage is that thought for your partner settles on your mind. You felt you have moved on and the more you try to get over your partner and connect with a new person, that is when thoughts of your partner come stronger and stronger. It is God who is not letting you go. He still has you at heart and has a greater plan and purpose for the both of you, which cannot be achieved separately, and that is why he's not letting the thought of your partner go away from your mind. The same way it is coming stronger on you is how it is also coming stronger on your partner. It looks as if a strong hand is holding and joining the both of you together. It is the hand and working of God. You cannot walk away from the marriage. He is set to bring you both back and more united than ever. The thought of you has not eased from the mind of your partner, and that is the same way it is troubling you. Your mind gets taken away thinking about your partner, the breakup is not the best, and it is not the end. God is quietly working to restore the both of you back, and it would happen soon. Only align and do not force anything with another person, because it will also not last. Like Jonah, you cannot run away from the task he has given the both of you together. Get back to him, seek for mercy, and receive strength to reconnect back with your partner, because that is what he wants to do. The relationship and marriage were divinely ordained by God, and its end has not come. He would restore the first love the both of you have for each other. He would heal each of you and ensure that the relationship and task at hand continues. Number 4. You still have peace and expectations around the person. Another sign that God will restore a relationship or marriage is that He will not take away your peace when you are with the person or thinking about the person. A quick way to know God has no hand in something that you lack peace in that thing, but when He gives you peace on the matter and concerning the person, He is passing a message across to you that He will restore the both of you together. This peace can come with expectations. You still find the strength to believe in the person and have the desire to have it back and working again. The more you think of moving on with another person, the stronger you find peace to give the marriage and relationship a chance. This is because God is working in the background and is not happy with the breakup and will restore you both together for the bright future. You cannot walk away from it. The desire to continue will not go away. The courage to keep pressing will not be abated. Strength would come for you to keep believing and to keep faith and hope alive because he's involved and would restore the relationship and marriage again. The end of that relationship or marriage has not to be approved by God. The enemy came in and sowed ties, but it has been uprooted now and he is restoring and reconnecting you with your partner again. The grace to wait on him to perfect it is released upon you. You would not lack passion for each other again. It shall be a blessed relationship and home. Many shall come to light through your relationship. Wait on God to restore it again, since he has not taken away the peace and desire for the relationship to work again. He knows it is the best for you and would perfect the good work he started for both of you.